In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble PTFE fuel lines in less than five minutes. Now, if you're in the middle of a project and you just wanna to skip to the part where I show you how to put this together, this is the time marker, jump to this chapter. So I was elbows deep redoing the fuel system on the RX-7 and I got to thinking, not everybody knows what PTFE line is, how it differs from traditional AN line, or even how to assemble it. So I figured, hey, let's make a quick how-to video explaining what the differences are, how you put it together, and how you get your fuel system up and running. So what exactly is PTFE? Well, the scientific name is polytetrafluoroethylene, and it's just a real fancy way to say Teflon. So if we look at traditional AN line, it's usually a reinforced rubber hose surrounded by either a stainless steel braid or a nylon braid. In comparison with a PTFE line, you have a Teflon hose on the inside surrounded by a stainless steel braid and usually either nylon or some sort of rubber coating on the outside. Now, when you look at the two lines side by side, you'll notice the PTFE line on the right is actually thinner. It has a smaller outer diameter. You may look at it and get confused. Don't worry, the inner diameter is exactly the same. Even when you look at the fittings, the top is the AN fitting, the bottom is the PTFE. We have an olive in between, so there's actually a crush component to the assembly. Well, what are some of the benefits of PTFE? It allows us to run E85, methanol, and a myriad of other race gases without worrying about the rubber degrading over time. The second piece is you're not gonna get any odor. That's right, the fumes do not escape from the Teflon hose like they do in traditional rubber AN lines. So let's get started assembling the PTFE fuel lines. So you go ahead and place your order. You tear into that box, grab all the parts you need. You're gonna get your fittings. You're gonna get your line and you're gonna go ahead and get started. Here is how. Now I always use either Tessa tape or electrical tape over the end of my line. It gets a clean cut and lets you slide the sleeve over no problem. Now there are plenty of ways to cut PTFE line. My chosen method is a good old grinder, nice and slow. You cut through it, you don't melt it, it works great. Make sure it's a straight cut because it has to fit into the lip of the olive. So after you make the cut, leave the tape on the line, slide the sleeve over, and then remove it after. Next, you're gonna grab the olive. This is the piece that's gonna fit over the Teflon hose and underneath the steel braiding. Now I will say, make sure you push the Teflon hose all the way up to that inner lip in the olive so you have a good seal. Next, we're gonna grab the sleeve, slide it up to the end and over the olive. This is the piece that's gonna thread into the actual fitting. Now triple check that the hose is seated on the inner lip of the olive. Grab the other half of the fitting, squeeze them together, use those muscles, and once they touch, you should be able to grab a couple threads by hand. Now before you start threading that fitting together, you're gonna to take that line over and check and measure and make sure that it fits. In my case, I'm good to go. Now, once you have the thread started, you're gonna go ahead and break out your tools of choice. In my hands, I have two adjustable wrenches. Now I know, you can get yourself an AN wrench if you'd like, but I just wrap mine in Tessa tape and you really don't get any marring. Do as I say, not as I do. You really should be using a vise and some aluminum wrenches. But in my case, I'm gonna give it some good old blood, sweat, and tears and rotate that fitting together by hand. I usually check the progress in the threads, make sure that we're good to go. Sometimes there's a gap, sometimes it sits flush. Tighten as much as you can and your fuel line is ready to go. And just like that, you have a fully assembled PTFE fuel line. PSA warning, not all PTFE line and fittings are the same. I used Red Horse fittings in line the first time and it was an absolute nightmare to get these assembled. You actually have to cut the sleeve down to get the olive over it. It was an absolute nightmare. Going forward, I will only ever use vibrant PTFE line and vibrant fittings. It was literally five minutes versus maybe an hour plus. So where there is fuel, there is likely fire. So I wanna take a moment to remind everyone, please make sure you have the appropriate automotive fire extinguisher in your vehicle. We're talking about fuel lines, things happen. You do not wanna have your car burned down because you're not prepared. And that about wraps this up. If this content helped you, consider giving a thumbs up and comment down below. What project car has you building fuel lines? I'd really like to know. And as always, thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with all the new content and I'll see you on the next one.